this is Kevin Mayo, and today we're going to be drinking some Clown Shoes Space Cake Double IPA. Clown Shoes is out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. Um, Ipswich is just north of Boston. They've been around for a while, and they make some pretty well-regarded beers. Don't know a lot about them. Their website doesn't give you a lot of information. Don't know too much about the beer other than it's like 9% alcohol, double IPA, mosaic hops, and it was bottled on 826. So this is like October 9th, so it's like six weeks old. Hopefully it's still fresh enough. We're gonna go ahead and give it a crack and see what we got. We're using a snifter today for this double IPA. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments. We like to converse with our beer friends. I mean, to me, that's always one of the great things about drinking beer. It really is a social activity. So sitting down here in my basement, drinking alone, eh, not so exciting. Let's take a look at it and see what we got. We've got an amber or darker orange. Reasonably clear. There might be some chill haze in it. Don't know if it's bottled conditioned or not. Really fairly close to white. So it's just a slightly off-white head. Nice, thick, creamy looking head. Got a fair amount of carbonation streaming up through it. It's like a stream of bubbles right in the center of them. Glass just keeps streaming right up. Let's see what we have for aroma. And very typical smelling uh, double IPA. I'm getting a lot of, or not a lot, I'm getting a nice malt background up front. A little bit of bready cracker. And I'm getting citrus. And then we get some of that cut grass. Yeah, it's almost like a passion fruit. Yeah, but really, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say a little bit of brown sugar. Not in a sweet kind of way, but that uh, backbone of brown sugar from the malt. So, uh, not terribly complex. Uh, but just like a solid smelling double IPA. Like I said, you get a little bit of malt up front, you get into some citrus, passion fruit, a little bit of cut grass. Let's just give it a taste and see what we got. Yeah, so, you get a little bit of that malt up front, helps balance it out. Get a little bit of alcohol in, in, the, in the beginning of it. You do taste the alcohol. thinking they probably use some brewing sugar in there to have some sweetness to balance off that the hops get some of the cut grass finishes very dry it's a drying beer a hint of grapefruit and again that tropical passion fruits kind of in there Really, really, really nice beer. Solid, solid double IPA. Hits all the marks. I would say it tends more towards a West Coast style. I'm getting that wash of, of bitter now. First couple sips, I'm, I was getting rid. I was actually thinking, you know, you drink, you think, you talk at the same time. Who knows what you're going to say? But I was thinking I was going to go and say, like, not a lot of bitter on this beer. But then it caught up to the, the rest of the flavor. It is definitely some bitter on the back end of this. Don't know what the IBUs are. But I'm going to say it's probably in the 70 to 80 range. It really does catch up to you. Well-crafted double IPA. I mean, it has some alcohol. has some sweetness. has a little bit of bready malt up front. It's got the passion fruit. It's got the little bit of cut grass, a little bit of pine. It dries well. Uh, just... Well made, very good I, uh, double IPA. If you like double IPAs, you're going to like this beer. If you can get it, you should try it. Uh, I would say it's a solid 86 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.